What you just heard was a recording made of the beautiful Kalamazoo Bell from 1960. Isn't it wonderful? Hi, I'm Charlie Krennic, and I'm on the property committee of the First Congregational Church of Kalamazoo. I'm here today recording this message because we need your help to bring back the ring of that bell live for all of Kalamazoo. Allow me to tell you a little bit about this historic Kalamazoo bell. Back in 1836, some of our earliest Kalamazoo Christian brothers and sisters commissioned a bell from a Troy, New York foundry. Our bell is one of the most this famous foundry's first commissioned bells. It arrived via ox team and was installed in what was referred to as the White Church. The White Church stood where the public library is today. Many local historians consider the White Church the foundational church for all of the churches around the Bronson Park today. That means all our denominations share an inheritance in the bell. Unfortunately, the White Church burned to the ground in 1883. And so did the Bell's next home, the First Presbyterian Church, multiple times with the worst fire in 1926. Each time its home was destroyed, the Bell was recovered and moved to a new home. The Bell was moved around 1926 to the North Presbyterian Church on Burdick Street. However, it was not properly installed, so it never really worked or rang for about 40 years. Then in 1960, thanks to some determined community leaders, a committee was formed that raised the money to get the bell back working. Because of the determination of men like Leo Leggett, Burl Johnson, Jacob Holman, the bell was restored and finally rang again after 40 years on Easter Sunday, declaring joy for all of Kalamazoo. The story doesn't end there. In 2016, the Congregation of North Presbyterian Church, which serves mostly handicapped members in our community, needed a church home, and we, at First Congregational Church of Kalamazoo, welcomed them with open arms. As part of their move, the North Presbyterian Church's congregation dedicated the bell to the First Congregational Church, where we are committed to keep the bell ringing for all of Kalamazoo and its many Christian communities. 185 years later, the oldest church bell in the city is ready to ring again. But its journey has not been without cost. There have been many generous contractors who have donated material and labor to the tune of $33,000 for securing and moving the bell that have gotten us this far. However, we still need $20,000 to finish the project, which includes stabilizing its position and installing protective brass louvers on the sides of the bell. Our plan is to raise the needed funds from our congregation and from the Kalamazoo community, whom, like me, want to hear the bell of our ancestors ring out again. Please consider giving a financial gift in memory of a loved one or in a celebration of a birth, anniversary, or blessed commitment to help give the church bell its final home where it will ring for all of Kalamazoo. To donate to the final restoration of the bell, please send a check to the First Congregational Church with the memo indicating for the church bell. Or, Go to www.fccgiving.org and indicate the donation is for the church bell. Thank you for your time and thank you for the generous contractors that have given us, gotten us this far. And thank you in advance for any donation you were able to make.